You must ask yourself, will you live or will you die? Your questions answered deeply. These are your past lives. These are lives you lived. These are your past playthroughs of World War III. These people are you. Learn from your mistakes. Survive. Earn a higher score. One, where do I go when I die? Verse 1. One, you go home. Let it be written in these simulation scriptures. You come from home, and to home you shall return. In one of your playthroughs of this simulation, you chose to be a philosopher, a wandering thinker. You set your intelligence stat to an IQ of 180 plus. Your mind questioned everything. You wanted the answers to all of life's mysteries, every single one. You were willing to die to find answers. You wandered hot deserts. You slept in dark forests. You meditated for 40 days and 40 nights. One question would not leave you. Where do we go when we die? One day you found out. The last war began. Nuclear missiles littered the sky. Whole cities turned to ash. You walked through the rubble, comforting those dying from radiation, helping survivors through their grief. You found your purpose to comfort the dying. Your words brought warmth to the weak. You were the last person many saw before they passed on. You always wondered where they went after they took their last breath, after the light in their eyes faded, after their heart grew still. Where did they go? One day you found out you died. You had a horrible death, not at all quick nor easy. You were not afraid. You were curious. You heard your last breath leave. You saw the final curtain fall. You felt cold, so very cold. And you waited, and you waited, and you waited. Then your screen flickered. Credits began to roll. Names, titles, awards won by you and your teammates. Your favorite music played. You found yourself sitting in a cosmic movie theater, alone. A sentence blazed, Welcome home. A highlights reel of your simulation playthrough began to roll. You cringed, you laughed, you hated yourself in some moments, and in other moments, you felt proud of your choices. You rose from your chair, and still groggy from playing the simulation, decided to explore home. Was it better than heaven? Was it worse than hell? You were quickly disappointed. Memories flooded back. Realization soon returned. Home, you remembered, is what you call limbo. Home is a place so comfortable, so eternal, so devoid of everything, that you, the real you, exists in perfect perpetual boredom. Home is the future. A future of post-scarcity, post-capitalism, post-communism, post-World War III, post-everything, post-perfection, post-life. The real you lives in a state of pure and constant and perfect boredom, forever, eternally, forever and ever bored. There is no death, there is no pain, there is no happiness either, no love, not anything at all. There is only existence, perfect, eternal, monotone, bland, forever and everlasting existence. You cannot die, but you cannot live either. Then you thought to yourself, it's not about the place, it's about the people, right? So you wandered around to find your family, your parents, grandparents, and great-great-great-great-grandparents. You wandered around to find your friends, and you found them. They were all plugged in, playing their own simulations. Your cousin was playing the hyper-realistic two billion years as a random rock simulation. One of your parents had plugged themselves into the lifetime of a gigantic fly during the Carboniferous Epoch. Your best friend had discovered the new lens shift mode and was addicted. In a flood of realization, you remembered why you'd played the World War III simulation for the dozenth time. Because home is boring, perfectly perpetually boring. Home, in other words, is the eternal waiting room, divine detention dimension, seraphic subspace, radiant realm of restlessness, celestial cesspool, sublime standby station. You play simulations to feel alive, because outside the simulation, you are bored, eternally bored. So you walked back to your chair, you sat back down, and you scrolled through the simulation menu. Air quotes put in place because what is technically happening is beyond your current comprehension. This World War III simulation popped up again. What the hell, you said, and plugged back in.